everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be starting with a new book called Unraveling Science, ICSC Biology. We're on the first chapter of it because we're obviously starting a new book. So, the first chapter is called Tissues and That's Biology, alright? Ooh, looks cool. Okay, sorry. <laughs> alright, so, first, before you do anything, you want to be thinking about what is a tissue. Now let's revise a little bit. We know that any cell, wait just a second, any cell, if you have a cell, makes a tissue, all right? It makes a tissue. We don't know anything about tissue yet, but we know this um, organ system chain. So cell forms a tissue, tissue form organs, and those organs, Form an organ system. Organ system. And that organ system forms an organism. Alright, so we've got cell into a tissue, into an organ, and into an organ system and an organism. Now, tissues are very important because if you see a uh, circuit for example this is the cell and this is the circuit even if only one millimeter one millimeter of wire gets cut the whole circuit gets affected so we need every single tissue in your body because they all are really really important same with the organs all right we need every single one of them they all are equally important doesn't matter how much they work but they all are equally important. Without even one of them, you will not have a good day and it might not even be possible to live without them. So that's um, that's what we already, just a second, what has happened? It's not rubbing. Oh no, we will have to go on with this. Oh, oh, it is rubbing. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, so, Tissues. Plants and animals have different tissues, that's for sure. Because animals have blood. Even we have blood because we are mammals. Well, we were animals before, so, you know. So, um, animals have blood. Well, plants don't. So, you know, you already know that animals have something different than plants. When you tear a leaf from a plant, do you see blood flowing? No. Because they don't have blood. They don't have the tissues which create blood. They don't have the cells which create blood. They have very different tasks than animals. Plants might make uh, do photosynthesis, might give us oxygen. But animals rove around the land. They can move. They can swim. They can think. Plants don't have brain. They can't really think. But animals do. Do have a brain. But even even though if plants don't have a real control center, they still have many tissues which know what to do already. So that's the difference between animals and plant tissues. Now, what are plant tissues? So for this part, I've got two parts, three parts. I don't know how many parts we're going to make about this, but there are basically two things, plants and animal tissues. In this video, we're going to be exploring plant tissues. All right. So, there is first, meristematic tissues. There are two types of plant tissues, meristematic tissues and permanent tissues. Now, let's talk about meristematic tissues. These tissues are made of actively dividing cells and are called meristems or meristematic tissues. Easy, right? Meristems, just a, a little bit of a different name than other things, but they're pretty much the same. Now, they help in growth, height, and growth. Now, if, if you think about cell dividing, they will still grow. The cells will grow up to be mature and be nice and stuff. So those cells are growing. So they're going to obviously help in growth. If meristematic tissues have actively dividing cells, then that will help in growth. And you guessed it, they will be present on tips of root. As if you have a root, if you have a stem or something, and there is the cell right there and it divides, then it's gonna have extra thing growing off it as it divides and divides and it divides. 
So it's gonna be on tips of roots, stems, and branches. All right. The cells are small and have thin cell walls. All right. So they are small and they have thin cell walls. They contain large nuclei. Now, a nuclei is just a plural word for nucleus, and vacuoles are present. Vacuoles are basically things that are floating around in a cell, like these things. All right. Um. They have a dense cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is basically the jelly-like stuff filling up the cell, and they have a dense. All right. There are two types of um, meristematic tissues. There is apical and lateral tissues. Apical meristematic tissues are for the growth and of the length, for the growth of the length of the plant. So they help in the growth of the length, meaning the height. All right. Not the width. Not the width. The height. All right. And they're present on tips of roots and shoots for growth. All right. So they help in growth of roots and shoots. Now, lateral tissues. What are lateral tissues? You guessed it, it will be the opposite of apical meristematic tissues, right? So, lateral tissues help in the girth or the thickness, the width basically, of the plant. These are present in the stems of the plant, alright? So, they are present in the stems so that the stems can grow thicker and thicker and thicker, alright? So, look here. We've got lateral tissue, which is present like dashed right there. And then we've got apical tissues. These thick parts are going to be apical tissues. And if you look closely, these are present on the nodes. Nodes are basically the connective parts. If you have a, this is the stem, this is the branch, this is the node because it's where it's connected. All right. So they are going to be present over there. Apical tissues are going to be present over there because that's where the branch actually grew out from. First, it was just like that. Then it grew, it grew, 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 and it will keep growing. All right. So that is lateral and apical tissues, which is a part of meristematic tissue.